Dr. Kemi Lawrence, it's still Wednesday, the 23rd of October, 2024. Let's talk about Halima Abubakar and what happened to her a few days ago. I'm sure you all know that AGN suspended her because they said she's been blogging about people's personal lives and all that stuff. I'll get to that in another video because I do want to talk about the whole blogging um, about gist gossip and all that and how it relates to Nollywood and the concepts of blogging and being a journalist. There's a fine line and who can blog, who cannot blog. But I'll get to that in another video. This video is about Halima apologizing to Apostle Suleiman. In my life, I have lived 60 years and I've worked in journalism 30. I'm gonna try and be, I'm gonna try and not be emotional, but it's very hard for me. There's nothing that hurts me so much in my whole life as how they destroyed my career in my own country, Nigeria. I lived in America 30 years. I lived in Canada five years. I lived in the UK two or three years, and I went to UK a lot as a kid on vacation with my parents. But for the time I spent in Nigeria 11 years, I did not believe this was my country. The media blackballed me. They always say bad things about me. They never reported anything good. They didn't want me anywhere. Do you see the media reporting anything I say or do? No, I don't need the validation. I do my own work. My work is exceptional and you cannot censor me because they know that what I'm saying could have some truth in it. Davido has called me a mad woman, a cheap drug user. All his fans have used, called me that. He has sexually harassed me saying, go all your pussy. What did I do? I was investigating how Tago died, how DJ Olu and Shime died. A woman said he impregnated and then he broke up with Shima. That brand of news is called entertainment and gossip news. They also call it celebrity news. I was just doing my job. If anyone knew me in Atlanta, they knew I was the leading entertainment reporter in Atlanta. And this is why Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown called me to be their blogger on their reality show. I have done a lot that many don't know. But when I came to Nigeria, I was blackballed. Halima Abubakar came to me in the DM, wanted to tell me about a situation that she had, and I compared it to the story in the Bible of the woman with the issue of blood. She said she's been bleeding for six months. She accused her own colleagues in the industry and she talked to me. After she talked to me, I published the story and not just her, but other people that she talked to about in my interview, it was not an official, official interview. She just spoke to me. Everybody she spoke to, I mean, she spoke about were pissed off. This story went viral. And then she turned it on the pastor. Apostle Suleiman that she had an affair with. If anyone knows what I'm talking about now, it would be Stella Dimoko Karkas. Halima lied all the while against that pastor. I have never met Suleiman, and I actually want to meet him now. People shamed me. People said he had bribed me because Halima has six million followers and I had what? 700,000 as a journalist, which I think is good for a journalist. Everybody flagged my page and they took my page down. I lost my Instagram page. I could have gotten it back within 30 days, but I didn't know I could appeal. They destroyed my work. Halima talked to me about these things. And she went out openly and disgraced Apostle Suleiman that he was behind her travels. And then when Ada Ahmed died, I spoke about what Ada Ahmed did, bullying me. Halima and I wanted to be in the news. This is what they do. Cloud chasing. Tonto does it. Yaba does it. They want to be in the news. They'll enter their mouth into the story. Halima now said, thank God I didn't talk to her. She came to my DM. I shooed her away. Halima, I didn't come to your DM. You came to my DM to talk to me about your problems with a pastor and all your colleagues doing juju to you. And I did the story. Then I told her to keep my name off her mouth or else I would publish that DM. I never published the DM, but I talked about what we talked about. Halima went on Gist Lover. 
and did an interview. And she was telling everybody on Just Lover that the 500K that Suleiman gave me will finish soon. Because she somehow knows that Suleiman pays 500K to certain people to bribe them, to change stories, to take stories down. I don't know. But she said that on a very viral platform when Princess was interviewing her. The 500K Suleiman gave you will finish soon. I've been accused of taking bribes from people. I have never taken a bribe to do a story and manipulate that story. Every story of mine is real. Not only did Halima defame me, lie on me, she called me evil. I'm not evil. If I'm really taking bribes, I wouldn't be asking you to contribute money from me. I'm not VDM. I'm not Wumi of Mobad. I'm not Mr. Ibu. I'm just a journalist trying to give you the correct news. News is suppressed. I taught my students that. News is suppressed. News is suppressed. News is underreported. And then news is fake. All these brands of news are out there. But I try to give you the real story and it might be too hard to hear to the ears. It doesn't mean that I'm lying. It doesn't mean that I'm evil. It simply means that I'm doing my job. That's why I left Nigeria. I fled for Nigeria for my life. They all published my phone number, my address, everything. And I know this day will come. All because of Sylvester Romani, who I was vindicated in the story. I know I'm always vindicated. Once again, I've been vindicated of this. I told everybody that Halima was lying on that pastor. Halima was lying on that pastor. She was making everything up and she interviewed me saying it was her own colleagues that caused it and she switched to the pastor to try and get money for the pastor. Those of you that help her, thank you. Ned Woko gave her a lot of money too. Everybody gave her money for sympathy and yet she is now admitting that she lied on the pastor. I'm really glad that you have admitted your fault, Halima. But I deserve an apology too. I sit down and I've raised, I've raised 120,000 today. I know it's ordinary 120K, but my fans sent me 250 to 500 Naira. And that's a lot of money when you're getting a 120K. I left journalism after 30 years and I came back on Sunday to start to do the work I can do and work better from outside the country, to fight corruption and injustice. That's the only thing. You cannot do it in the mainstream media because the people doing this thing, the people frustrating Nigerians, Nigerians are in this mainstream media and they own it. Halima, you ruined my career. You are one of the people that did that to me. I'll be expecting your apology. I'll post all the screenshots. Thanks, Nigerians.